What's up, Internet? 11th Eric here. And so I, w I wanted to do a video explaining uh, classes, how the class system works, how you switch different classes, and give demos of each class. Uh, if you're anything like me, um, you... So when you get into an MMO, and like there are a bunch of classes, like for, for me, I want to know sort of what I'm getting into uh, before, before I choose a class. Um, so... What I wanted to do is explain how the class system works and give demos of each classes. So, basically, here here's how it works, right? So there there are three starting classes in the game. You have the, the basic classes. You have a Lightbringer, or excuse me, Lightbinder, Paladin, and Cryomancer. And so the way you unlock skills and get stat points is um, on their tree here. So like this is the Cryomancer tree. So you start here. And then you unlock different abilities as you go along, and then you unlock minor stat boosts. And these minor stat boosts apply to all of your characters. And so, like this is a you know a new ability, you might get new talents, and uh, and then here on the uh, ability and talent selection, um, you can basically choose between a couple different abilities um, in each slot, and then a bunch of different talents that modify those abilities. And so, you'll be playing the game. And in order to unlock these different uh, slots, you need certain colored gems. You need a Spark of Destruction, Spark of Creation, or a Spark of Balance, right? So like this one, um, I think these ones you actually... Yeah, it doesn't actually say. Um, but like the green ones, that like, gives you like stamina, that one you need balance. And like the red ones, uh, which in this case gives me an ability, you need destruction. And then you, you keep doing that. You basically play open world missions and you play dungeons and, and other sorts of content and you keep you keep progressing down the line. And not only can you put points in Cryomancer, but at any time you can also go to your other trees. You can you can click this to switch to another class, like so. Zoop. And then when I switch to the other class, I'm on the paladin tree. And similar to the other one, it, it's the same kind of thing. You spend the different colored, the RGB gems, you know, red, green, green, blue, uh, to unlock skills and unlock minor stat bonuses and uh, to reach the end. So let's go back to the Cryomancer. And so basically uh, you, have, you have one character and you, you choose the look of your character. And you can change it by going over to this lady here. And go to the stylist, and you can you can redo your character. You can make your character uh, male or female. You can change all sorts of different sliders. The first time you make your character, you can change the look of your character for free one time, and then after that, it costs credits. Um, and you can either earn credits by playing the game, or you can you buy in-game currency and um, exchange them for credits. And so anyway, like this is this is my you know this is my my one character. Um, and so I can switch her to. You know, Paladin and Lightbinder, and then you have different outfits and crap that you can put on them. And so anyway, uh, you you have your you have your one account, right? And then you switch between classes whenever you want. So, you know what? How do you how do you get to other classes? That's the question. So now we're on Cryomancer tree, and so I've I've leveled the Cryomancer somewhat, gotten some basic skills, and as you get further in the tree, you eventually get to this point where it says Path of the Cryomancer or Path of the Paladin or whatever. And so from here on, you can no longer spend the normal red, green, and blue gems. You now have to spend these special sparks, these sparks of cold, or they're called something else depending on what your class is. And in addition to um, sparks of cold, here, let's go over here. In addition to sparks of cold, you can also spend these um, sparks of evolution, which can be used to unlock any nodes on any character. Um, so like this one, for instance, I only have 62 Sparks of Cold. This one would cost me 62 Sparks of Cold, and I can supplement that with 38 Sparks of Evolution. But once you get... I don't know why the sound is acting all weird. That was weird. Um, yeah, it sounds all... cutting out all strange. Anyway, once, once you get to the end of the tree, or near the end of the tree, to this point where you stop spending the normal Sparks you unlock the Ascension Atlas. So like, let me let me zoom out and give you an idea of this tree. So this is my tree. You unlock different skills and uh, traits. And then down here I can unlock even more skills and traits. If we go to the big tree, this is the big tree. If we zoom in, this is the Cryomancer right here. 
So this this big giant circle is my my class. Like you can click on this and you'll go to your you know you'll go to your subclass. So that's where we are. And so if I go back to Ascension Atlas, these three right here. Um, let me zoom out so it shows like the big icons. So these three are the starting classes. They all lead to here. So you got the Cryomancer, you got the Paladin, and then you've got the Lightbinder. So what happens when you want to switch to another class, right? Well, we're going to stay zoomed out all the way just so I can sort of give you a broad overview. So as you progress through this bigger Ascension Atlas, you'll unlock um, minor talents, like uh, Talent Clever Maneuver using Dash creates a protect protective barrier that absorbs damage equal to 5% of the character's maximum health for 3 seconds. That's great. There's just like a free basic uh, talent that will um, that you can apply to uh, assuming I'm assuming all of your characters and then in addition to the classes in the center here you have god form and god form is like your super ultra mega form or whatever um, I don't know what the purple crystal is right now but basically um, so like you can right click on something like this and do find path and I think it actually assumes I'm a light binder for some reason and it'll show you like the most like the quickest path to get to where you want. So if I want to unlock God form, I can do that. But I don't. I let's say I don't want to unlock God form, right? I want to unlock some other classes. All right. So once you've you know what let like let's go to Cryomancer again. Once you've reached that point where you stop spending the normal um, sparks of destruction, creation, and balance. The way that you earn these Sparks of Cold is just by defeating tough monsters. Like, when you defeat monsters, they'll drop that. So you'll sort of naturally um, earn this secondary currency to spend on, to, to spend on your, current, um, your current character, your current class. And so the extra ones, like, let's say I just wanted to focus on Cryomancer, which I probably wouldn't want to. I would want to put points in other stuff. But let's say I just want to focus on that. None of these... None of these in here require anything besides the secondary currency, the sparks of cold that you get just from fighting enemies. So I could then spend the rest of them out here. So let's say I wanted to go to the god form or whatever, right? So I need I need a lot more um, currency than I would on the normal trees, and I would just keep having to pay and progress along here. So basically like since they have the secondary curse currency of the the class currency that you get from killing monsters it sort of frees up the other currency for other stuff now keep in mind like let me explain this real quick so if we go to let's go back to the cryomancer so the cryomancer i've unlocked everything i can with the standard gems right but in paladin i have not so all of the minor stat boosts that you get apply to all of your classes all of them. They might have different base stats, so their their health might be slightly different. But like if I upgrade, if I buy this right now, stamina, boom, I just added 50 stamina to, or excuse me, plus 9 stamina to all of my characters. And increased max health no matter what class I am. So it seems like it, it's in your best interest to just max out all the basic classes for sure until you get to this point, Path of the Paladin, and then it starts co uh, costing the... Um, sparks of justice to unlock stuff all right so now let's get into the other classes right so we got our basic classes here here are the other classes up here you have kinetic and then over here we have alchemist over here we have gunner over here we have monk which looks awesome and then over here we have necromancer which also looks awesome to me and then we have archer and we have Slayer, and then all the way over here, we have Berserker, and then we have Knight, and then we have Witch. So as you can see, like, if you want to unlock all the classes, it's going to take a really long time just to traverse this tree to get to where you're going, right? So let's say I wanted to unlock the Necromancer next. I want that to be my main character or, or whatever. So assuming I was already a, a Lightbinder or whatever, um, I could just progress along this path and and keep you know earning these these extra gems and stuff just by playing the game normally, and work my way all the way over down here to Necromancer. So it's it's sort of similar like it's sort of similar and ridiculous um, like the Path of Exile tree. Um, 
and that's that's basically the skill system. That's how you change classes. That's how you earn more classes. Um, you can, you know, you can you can boost how fast you're earning these gems by you know paying real money, or like um, basically like if we go to I think inventory. No, I think I've used them all. So let's go to currency and class sparks. Oh wow, that's a lot. All right, so spark replicators. Um, you get these temporary buffs, which gives you, which allow you to earn 50% more sparks. And you you could basically spend money to to use this to earn things faster. So basically, money would allow you to level up faster, um, which I guess effectively would also give you uh, more power. So you could argue that you could just buy your way into power. But my biggest concern about the whole system is um, like you know let's take two two types of players right one of them is a casual player let's say they really love you know the cryomancer so they level up the cryomancer and they just play the cryomancer and that's it they don't level up anything else not even the other beginning classes so they have a bunch of extra um they have a bunch of extra sparks because they're only leveling cryomancer and then they're like yeah okay now i've leveled cryomancer i'm gonna start getting some of these extra perks and then you know they finish the game and they're done and that's it and so like for that, like, I guess that's fine, right? Maybe they want to earn one other class, so they work their way to that. But for the super hardcore people, oh my god. So so you could you could effectively earn everything here. You could spend, I don't know how long it would take, thousands and thousands of hours to effectively earn every single minor stat boost on this entire skill tree. Which is, it, it's immense. Like, and every one of these things has more more skills in it. And every class node has a new you know a subset of more nodes that you can that you can get so the the amount of time you could spend like buffing your sort of a, your account your character is insane so that that's my concern is like i i wonder if people are going to feel like they have to unlock a lot of stuff to even be competitive in pve and in pvp you know because like imagine someone has um i don't know one guy has 25 percent of this unlocked and a couple classes, and one guy has like 75% of unlocked. There's no way he can stand up, to, you know, one guy can stand up to the other in PvP. He would just crush him. I mean, they might have uh, prestige-based stuff for, for PvP, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, down here in the bottom left, you can see prestige. My prestige is 1210 right now. That's based off of the stat bonuses that you've gotten on the tree, and it's also based off of your current equipment. So, like, if we go to, if we go to current equipment, equipment um, the rings I have equipped I can't get amulets or trophies right now but the main weapons that I have and the rings that I have affect my prestige level so that sort of is an estimate of with your current character's weapons what your sort of account level is so if your prestige is very high that likely means you have a bunch of stuff unlocked on the skill tree all right so that's a basic a, a basic description of how the skill tree works and how unlocking under other classes works. So what I want to do now is basically go into the training room and try out all the classes.